What's up you guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today we are going to be discussing the internet's vocabulary word of the month of the year, of the day. You've probably heard this word before. Can you guess what it is? Drum roll, please. <laughs> nepotism. We are going to be talking all about nepotism as it pertains to the entertainment industry. So buckle up kids, cause it's sure to be controversial. All right, folks, let's just start with the basics here. What is the definition of nepotism? Nepotism is a practice of giving someone an opportunity on the basis of who they know rather than their credential. Now, are there instances of nepotism in which the person that gets the opportunity happens to be very talented and of equal caliber to the other candidates? Yes, however, nepotism is specifically speaking to the practice of giving someone a heads up solely because of who they know or who they have a relationship with. So some recent examples of this would be Dear Evan Hansen. I'm sure we all saw the whole Twitter debacle once people figured out that Ben Platt, incredible actor, star of Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway, was also cast to play Evan in the film adaptation, even though he has pretty obviously aged out of the role. And the reason for that is because his father is a big time Hollywood and Broadway producer. I think he mainly works in Hollywood, if I'm not mistaken, but he's a big time producer. He got pull, y'all. The Platts can do whatever they want to do. And people were very upset about it. So Ben is probably the most infamous example in recent years. However, if you look at the biographies and the family trees of most of your favorite performers, you will realize very quickly that the vast, vast, majority of successful actors on Broadway and in Hollywood are the result of nepotism. Whether they are related to somebody, they're married to somebody, their best friends went to school with somebody, everybody knows everybody and it is all about connections. So part of what I'm going to break down in this video today is why that is. Why is nepotism so rampant in the entertainment industry? I think a major reason why nepotism is so rampant in the entertainment industry actually has to do with financial privilege. It costs a lot of money to be competitive as a professional actor. You gotta have the headshots. You gotta have the voice lessons, the acting lessons, the dance lessons. You gotta look nice. You gotta have nice hair, nice teeth, nice wardrobe, nice makeup. For most people, their journey involves going to an expensive college like NYU or University of Michigan. And when you go to those expensive colleges like NYU or University of Michigan, you gain access to Broadway casting directors, to people who are in the industry and have a wealth of connections. And so that when you graduate, people see that name on your resume and they know that they can expect a certain quality of work. And that doesn't mean that people who go to other schools are not as talented. That is not the case at all. What it does mean is if the casting director gets a stack of 2000 resumes and they need to weed people out, they know that their friend teaches at University of Michigan and they can count on those kids to knock it out of the park. So they will cherry pick those people to come in. If you come from a well-off family, there are lots of performers in New York and Los Angeles who are able to study with the best of the best because their parents help pay their rent or they pay for their classes. They can afford to not have a day job and prioritize auditioning all day every day over having to make enough money to keep a roof over their head. 
Having a financially well-off background oftentimes will put you in the rooms where you will meet the people that you need to meet to take your career to the upper echelon. They call it the 1% for a reason. It is a very insular circle. And if you do not come from that circle already, it is very difficult to get in. So I touched on this a bit with the last bullet point, but it really can be a point of its own. I think another reason why nepotism is so rampant in the entertainment industry is simply being able to cut the line. It is no secret that the entertainment industry is incredibly, incredibly oversaturated. I mean, I cannot really think of another industry in which the disparity between people and amount of jobs available is so, so stark. And when you know someone, when you have connections, you are able to skip that line. Because let me let you in on a little secret here, okay? So I feel like people who are not in the industry think that every audition is just a free for all. And if you don't get the part, then it's just because you weren't good enough and that's all there is to it. Honey, if you think that Ariana Grande and Cynthia Erivo were not cherry picked to audition for the Wicked film, I have a bearded fire breathing dragon to sell you. Most productions, and not even just blockbuster and Broadway productions, but most productions will have two different sets of auditions. They will have the open call that they are required to have by Actors' Equity, and then they will have a selected invite only audition. Now, can you guess? where most of the principal roles were cast. If you guessed the invite only audition, you were correct! Yay! <laughs> now the question is, how do you get to the invite only audition? Well, you have to have a top echelon agent. How do you get a top echelon agent? Well, you have to go to one of those expensive top notch schools that I told you about. Well, how do you get into those schools? The more connections that you have, the easier it is for you to get your foot in the door. And the easier that you can get your foot in the door, the more likely it is that you will be successful. If you do not have connections, you will never be in the same audition room as Ariana Grande, regardless of how talented you are. All right, so we talked a little bit about the way that nepotism is involved with personal finances in terms of wealthy actors who are able to succeed. But I also think that money comes to play on the producer's end as to why nepotism is so rampant in the entertainment industry. So Broadway and Hollywood producers are investing millions of dollars into each and every project that makes it to the Broadway and Hollywood stages. I think it would surprise most people to know that most producers do not get a return on their investment, especially, especially on Broadway. It is pretty rare for a production to fully recoup their expenses. That being said, when push comes to shove, a casting team wants someone that they know can live up to the standards of the project and put butts in seats. It's pretty rare for someone to truly just be plucked from nowhere out of pure obscurity. Typically, if you look back far enough, you'll discover that they are related to so-and-so, or they went to such and such school, or they grew up in New York or Los Angeles and they've been studying with so-and-so since they were five years old. There is a lot of money on the line. The stakes are incredibly high. And at the end of the day, the producer has the final say on who gets cast in a project. So if it's between Selena Gomez and the girl that works at the smoothie shop, they're gonna cast Selena Gomez regardless of whether or not she fits the role. So now that we understand the definition of nepotism and have a bit more context about it, I think we can continue the discussion. I think one major thing that pisses people off about the concept of nepotism is the lack of transparency. 
I think a major question that is being asked right now is, why do people lie about nepotism? And I think it's because there is a sense of guilt around it. Nepotism, even if you are extremely talented, I mean, going again back to Ben Platt, he gave a Tony Award winning performance. So it's not like he wasn't a good actor just straight up. However, I think regardless of that, nepotism comes with a very negative connotation. And I think a lot of the times people who benefit from nepotism will hide the fact that they benefit from nepotism because they are scared of people turning on them. But then what that ultimately ends up doing is becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy. Because when people discover that you didn't struggle with them, and that you had the easy way up all along, they feel betrayed. They feel like they can't relate to you anymore. A lie by omission is still a lie. Now, on the other end of the spectrum, I also think there is an aspect of deliberate gatekeeping. I think the people at the top don't want the people at the bottom to know all of their secrets because then the people at the bottom will climb the ladder too and create more competition for them. Continuing the discussion further, why is nepotism harmful? Well, for starters, it is obviously inequitable. The family that you were born to should not have any effect on your ability to achieve success. I also think that it enables gaslighting and it tends to reinforce the bootstrap American dream theory of Well, if you just work hard enough, all of your dreams will come true as well. And if they don't come true, it's just because you didn't work hard enough. When that is so obviously not true, especially in the entertainment industry. All of that being said, I don't want to scare you or depress you, I think it's important to have perspective, right? This is not just an entertainment industry thing. I'm focusing on the entertainment industry because that is the world that I know. But the concept of nepotism actually occurs in every single field. Even when you are auditioning for an office job. I said auditioning. <laughs> Even when you are applying for an office job, if you are best friends with the recruiter, even if you do not have the correct qualifications for the job, you will probably be given preference over the other candidates. It's just the way that the world works. And so how can we find the empowerment in that? I think another thing to kind of keep nepotism in perspective for you is to remember that at a certain point, once you've been in the industry long enough, at high enough of a level, everyone around you benefits from nepotism. And I don't think that's necessarily a slimy thing. Naturally, as you work and meet more people, you're gonna become friends with those people. And of course, friends are gonna wanna help other friends succeed. How can you use that knowledge to develop your own personal relationships? Rather than being resentful, spend that energy towards expanding your own network. I think the biggest takeaway that you can get from this video is just to let go of the American dream and work smarter, not harder. Now that you know how the industry works, now that you know what role nepotism plays in your success, how can you use that knowledge to propel you even if you do not come from a privileged background? It's up to you, friends. All right, well, I hope this video was insightful. As always, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll see you next time.